What's up, losers? Sip here. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a really simple zero tick bamboo farm. Let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to turn the machine on real quick. So, here you go. You guys can see it's zero ticking. Uh, it's actually pretty efficient. So, I've literally just started running it. I just made the machine. And, yeah, I mean, it just pumps out bamboo. So, it's actually uh, pretty insane. So, you could attach this to your furnace system and it should, uh, you know, have enough supply where it won't run out. And, I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple. So, before I get comments saying I copied it from someone, this is a very common design, the sand falling method, so I personally haven't seen this exact thing, but I have seen the sand falling method because everyone knows about it. That's just a common zero tick. So yeah, if anyone, if you think anyone, like if you guys know the person who actually made the sand zero tick, which I don't think anyone really knows who made it because it's just so common, then yeah, definitely link them below. I'll put them in the description, but I mean, yeah, I guess I'll just show you guys how to make it. It's a very simple machine. It doesn't use that much redstone as you guys can tell. And you could probably make it on your first day in Minecraft, so, yeah. Alright, so one more thing about this farm before I show you guys how to make it. Uh, it does break a lot, so join my Discord, I could show you guys how to fix it. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys about a video that can also help you fix it. So, just make sure you join the Discord, link is in the description. Uh, I, yeah, I, guess can, I can help you with any farm that I've made before, I could try helping you fix it. And, I mean, yeah, so link is in the description, make sure you join that. And even if you don't have any questions, it's fun, I'm just on there, so make sure you join. Alright, so here's what you're gonna need. Uh, you could just take a screenshot if you want. So, uh, yeah, everything here is exactly what you need except for the redstone. So the redstone, you can, uh, it's not really a stack, it's like only like 10, but I would just grab a stack depending on how your build is, if you have to rewire some stuff. So, yeah, just grab a stack of redstone, that's good enough. And then for these two blocks, you actually don't need glass and you don't need to use smooth stone. You could use any block you want and you, you could literally use dirt for both of these. I'm just using glass to, so that you guys can see the inside and then I'm using the, these so that you guys can count better because stone has that little boundary to make it easy to count. So, I mean, yeah, let's get straight on to the build. Alright, so first you're going to pick where you want to put, like, the bulk of the machine. So, I'm going to pick right here. So, make a little, like, uh, 4x2 or 3x4 uh, area like this. Place two, pi two sticky pistons like that and then cover it up like this. I'm actually going to use uh, glass for these parts because I think that looks cooler so that you guys can see it better. And I'm actually not even going to fill those in just so that, you know. So, then over here, place two pieces of sand like this and then place two more solid blocks. Like I said, I'm using glass. And then we'll worry about this later. We're going to actually work on the redstone. So come over here and make like a little triangle thing that looks something like this. Place a redstone torch under here with a repeater going into this block. So like that. So you should see it gets powered. And then place one piece of redstone like this. And you should see a clock start to form. So make sure you look at it, get it correct. And then you could just place a redstone, or not a redstone, but a lever over here and flick it so that it stops the clock. Then come over here, grab your solid blocks. So let me just grab some solid blocks. And then wire it over here like this, so that it looks something like this. And then grab some redstone and lead it just like that. Grab a redstone torch, place it over here. And then you're just going to make like a little torch tower. So place one torch like this on the side of that piston. Place another torch on the block on top of it. And then one more redstone torch just like that. Then over here, we'll finish this up. So you should have those two pieces of sand here. And then place another row of, like, a place a 2x2 two two like that, and then you can, you can actually cover it up from the back, so make, like, a little thing like this, and you can actually square it off like this if you really want, it doesn't really matter, so let me just do this, like that, and then you should have this so far, and once you're doing that, then you can place two more solid blocks over here, and then you're just gonna grab your normal pistons, so grab them, place them like this, and that's gonna be what actually breaks it, and then you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna place two blocks behind those actual pistons like this, place one more block on top of this redstone torch, it should be powered off, and then place two pieces of redstone like this. And, I mean, all you have to do now is just kind of cover it up. So, like this, like that. And then over here, we're going to actually place our, uh, like, what's it called, hoppers. So, come over here with your chest as well. Place a block here so that you can place your chest over here. And then lead your hoppers into the chest just like this. So, it should look something like this. And then come over here with your uh, four stained, four black, or not black stained glass, but any, you know, glass, or your, whatever, you know, your glass panes. Then place them just like that, and then I'm just going to grab some of my black stained glass, cover it up. Make sure you cover it up all the way. You don't need no half slabs on top like the kelp one. And I mean, other than that, pretty much the whole thing is done. If you flick it, you should see that the sand starts to move. And I actually, I never showed you guys this, but the reason this works is because if you guys can look over here, you guys will see the sand looks like it's about to fall. And that's telling this sand that it's going to break whatever's on top of it. But because it's actually not moving, then it has to send a growth update, which is why the bamboo actually grows. So... All you have to do now is just place your two pieces of bamboo here. And you could actually use one and then, well, I'll show you guys what you can do. You can do something like this. Wait for that to grow. Then you can just come over here, grab your bamboo, and place it just like that. And I mean, yeah, I guess it's pretty simple. So there you go. That's your whole machine done. Cover this back up just like that. And yeah, that's the whole bamboo machine done. So 
it's on right now and you could just flick it off just like that and I mean yeah it's pretty simple so all your bamboo will land in here and it does produce a lot so yeah you might want to have some extra storage alright so I hope you lose enjoyed if you lose it did make sure you join the discord if you have any questions like one thing I'm gonna answer before you guys uh, like you know start commenting I do have a second video for my kelp one it's my second video of, I've like the second video I've ever made so I'll p put that in the link in the description that talks about my kelp farm which is the same mechanic as this the sand falling method so it addresses some problems that you might have so definitely go watch that if you're having problems with this and uh, yeah if, if you guys still can't figure it out then just join the discord you can send me pictures or something and I could try helping you out but um, yeah if you lose this really did enjoy make sure you give me a kiss good night see ya